Good day. We had a couple of folks um, ask for some clarity on actually how to sign in and, and um, get into Virtual API Cloud. Um, wanted to make this short little video to give everybody a, a, a walkthrough of that. We utilize GitHub authentication. So if you're not familiar with GitHub, um, there's about 13 million plus repositories there and about 7 million active developer users there. And it's the largest social coding um, uh, site on the internet. So it, it powers many, many, many things. If you look at um, large companies um, and small companies and startups, and that's you know where they're doing their code and, and where folks are, are uh, writing their code and storing their code, public and private. So we're going to first get in and we're going to sign in with GitHub. We can do that either up here on the right hand side or we can do that with this one big green button. I'm going to press the big green button and it brings us over to GitHub. If I already had credentials with GitHub, I could simply enter those here. But in this demonstration, we're going to sign up to GitHub. The first thing I'm going to do is give myself a username Happy demo user one. I'm going to associate it to my email address. I'm going to give a password, and GitHub has password requirements that are, you know, one lowercase, one numeral, seven characters. We're going to create the account. Don't need to uh, pay for any of this. It, we can go in with a free account. And now we're set up and we're signed up. So if I were to go over to Vappy, I've now created my account. I can now go in and sign in with that account. There's one little step that needs to occur before. By associating this account with your virtual API cloud login, we require a few permissions. The three permissions that we require is read-only access to your email address. So what you just saw as ian.kelly at ca.com. Also to the organization and team information and also read only access to your notifications. You also notice in the right hand side there's a, some contractual agreement here. By signing in you accept the privacy and terms of use policy located here. You can also go and see those here and you can review those but you need to make sure that you've reviewed those prior to signing in or pressing this authorized application. I've already done that so we'll just continue on. I'm now into Virtual API Cloud. You'll notice two things have happened. It's already grabbed the VAPI demo user information and the avatar. So I have that somewhat personalized within this space. We're going to log out of Virtual API Cloud, and I'm going to go over and remove the permissions that VAPI had previously. I'm going to go in Applications here and revoke these permissions. So I've now made it to where my VAP, uh, VAPI demo user does not have access to Virtual API Cloud. I can do that from, from GitHub. So if I had a pre-existing GitHub account, I could come and I could sign in here, and it would just ask me for the screen again, authorize the application, and off, off I'm running. So if you're already a user with GitHub, it's very simple, very quick, very easy. If you have to create a new user on GitHub, you can also see that that's just a few fields and you can get through it in 30, 40 seconds. For more information on the Virtual API commu Cloud community, uh, see us at communities.ca.com. There's also a link to this down at the bottom here with community. Um, and that'll bring you over to the VAPI community and you can keep track of new releases, new features, uh, samples that we have, um, all this type of information and you can walk your way through Virtual API Cloud. Thank you very much for joining me today.